Are you looking to protect your Cognito login pages from common web exploits? Are you leveraging Cognito managed login? My name is Blake Franzen. I'm a senior security solutions architect with the AWS Industries Customer Acceleration Team. And today I want to show you the new integration with Cognito managed login in AWS WAF. This exciting new capability released in June, 2025, allows you to protect your managed login endpoints from unwanted or malicious requests and web-based attacks. With this integration, you can now define rules that allow or block traffic to Cognito managed login based on your specific business or security requirements. This provides an additional layer of protection and is particularly valuable for organizations that need to maintain strict security standards while providing a seamless authentication experience for legitimate users. Let's discuss the components of this new integration. First, Cognito Managed Login is a fully managed sign-in and sign-up experience that you can personalize to align with your company or application branding. It provides a ready-to-use user interface for authentication operations like sign-in, sign-out, password management, and MFA management. This eliminates the need to build custom authentication interfaces. Managed Login also functions as a service provider or relying party to various identity providers, including SAML and OIDC-based IDPs, as well as social login providers like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, and Google. It offers advanced features not available in the classic hosted UI, such as passkey sign-in and a visual branding editor that allows you to customize the look and feel to match your brand. It's available in the Cognito Essentials and Plus tiers, providing a professional authentication experience that can now be further secured with AWS WAF. AWS WAF is a web application firewall that lets you inspect HTTP and HTTPS requests before they are forwarded to your web application resources. With WAF, you can create rules to filter web traffic based on common criteria such as IP addresses, headers, URI strings, or you can block common threats like SQL injection or cross-site scripting. When integrated with Cognito Managed Login, WAF will inspect requests to all managed login endpoints. Based on your configured rules, you can set WAF to either count, allow, block, or present a CAPTCHA in response to request these endpoints. This integration provides powerful security capabilities, including protection against common web exploits and bots, RIP-based rules to counter DDoS attacks, and much, much more. This integration is available in all AWS regions where Amazon Cognito is offered, providing you a robust security layer for your authentication infrastructure needs. Now let's see this in action. We have a user pool configured, and let's take a look at what managed login looks like. We'll go down to the branding tab and click manage login. And we can see that we have managed login configuration configured here under styles. We will select this style ID. And here we can preview and make modifications to the branding of our sign-in or managed login experience. You can see I have a pre-configured one here that we'll be leveraging for this dem demo. Now let's integrate AWS WAF with our user pool. We will go to security in AWS WAF. We can see this is currently inactive. We will click edit, then use AWS WAF through user pool. And we'll select the user pool here. For purpose of this demo, we'll use Cognito test and click save changes. WAF is now integrated with our user pool, but we have no rules configured here. Let's go and configure some WAF rules. We'll move over to the WAF console. And we can see here, I have a pre-created rule that we need to modify called CAPTCHA. We will select that checkbox and click edit. And within here, we want to create a rule that will present a CAPTCHA challenge to end users. Now, if you choose to use the CAPTCHA action with manage login, you need to customize that rule to exclude specific headers as this can impact the TOTP or time-based one-time password experience for managed login. Specifically, you need to match against two statements. They're both matching this header field called X Amazon Cognito operation name, but two different strings or values to match here. And we negate these statements. So this means that for all requests that don't match these two header values, we will require a CAPTCHA action. The first is associate software token, the second is verify software token. Once we have that configured, we can scroll down and flip this from what is currently set to allow to the capture response. We will click save rule. And then we just need to set a rule priority. This is the only rule, so there's no change needed here. And we can click save. This capture response is now active. Let's take a look at what this experience looks like. So we'll go back to the Cognito console. We will select an app client where we currently have the Manage login configured. It's under my web app clients. We will select login pages. You can see the managed login is available here. We can view the login page. I will copy this link. We'll open a new incognito tab, visit the site, and we can see we're first prompted before we get to that managed login experience to perform a capture. We will click begin and then complete this capture challenge. 
click confirm. We successfully completed that. Now we can log into our application. I have credentials here. We will sign in. And then I'm into my application and I can perform whatever actions needed after signing in. You can see that's working successfully. Now let's say we want to add a custom rule that will block certain types of traffic. Let's go back to the WAF console here. We want to add a IP block list. So we'll add our, our own custom rule. Let's call this IP block. It is a regular rule still, and we want to match on a specific statement in this case that originates from an IP address in an IP set that we have defined. In this case, I have one already defined with my IP for the purposes of the demo, matching source IP address, and then we'll leave the default action of block because we want to block this traffic. Click add rule. We will set the rule priority above just for the purposes of this demo and click save. That IP block is now active. I still have that link copied, so I'll open up another tab, visit again, and we can see we're unable to access that managed login experience now because we have a 403 error. We are blocked from performing that action that is intended as what we want to see. To recap what you saw during this demonstration, we first integrated AWS WAF with Cognito, allowing you to protect Cognito managed login endpoints. Then we configured two WAF rules. First, that presented a capture challenge to end users before logging in. And then second, we blocked specific IP addresses to that application. Now grab your newest application integrated with Cognito, attach AWS WAF to your user pool and protect your Cognito logins. Also, take a look at the Cognito documentation and let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks.